Removing colour from images in PowerPoint, which is perfect if you are creating colouring books for the KDP low content book market and are using PowerPoint. Hi, I'm Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books, Etsy and affiliate marketing with new training each week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today what I'm going to show you is how to actually remove color from images in PowerPoint and then you can be taking these images and using them to create coloring books and journals for KDP low content books and putting it on Amazon Kindle Direct publishing platform so we we're at Amazon and what I typed in was doodle coloring books for adults so there is a lot of selection here but a lot of these are not what I would call doodle books this one is a doodle book and this is actually a fantastic coloring book um, company that does a lot of pens and things like that and this is doodles and some of these are but even though there is um, 4,000 results, you can actually niche it down. So you can do it as kawaii doodling or coffee doodling or different niche words, line art doodling. And also you can also be looking into the affirmation or positive thinking niche, positive motivation niche. And as you can see, this one was in the previous one that we looked at and look at the sales rank there. Yes, it is. It's an old book that was created in CreateSpace Day, so it is independently published. Um, this one is as well. So, and then we've also got this one that is not independently published, but we go from one extreme to the other extreme. So you are seeing different markets, different niches. You've got the Christian niche and you've got the snarky, sarcastic, don't give a damn niche that also want to be thinking positive because they've been told thinking positive works. So those are two different examples of coloring book niches and you can also be taking images that you get from say Creative Fabrica and this is one doodle that I've downloaded here. But Creative Fabrica if you do type in doodly they do actually give you a lot that's lined up but then there is some that is just in colors and like these lovely rainbows you may want to actually be changing these so that they line up that you can actually be using in your coloring book but you just want to use powerpoint to do it and not be going across to a graphics package now it is possible but some images do not work i'm just going to put it out there they do not work and i will show you some that work and i'll show you some that do not work and yes you can also do it with sv Geez. So let's hop across to PowerPoint and here we are. I've created a slide already. I've already set it to the eight and a half by 11 size, which seems to be the predominant size in the market on Amazon. It doesn't actually mean that it's popular with colorists. It just means it is the most market profitable size to go for. So here we are. I've already downloaded some pictures. I've got these burgers that you've just seen from Creative Fabrica. The reason why I like Creative Fabrica is because you know where you stand with the license. You can also get images from Pixabay, but you need to check the license. You need to check that you can be using them because some of these images are great. They are fantastic, but are they actually allowed to be used? So you need to do your due due diligence most of these yes they are but some of these are actually found on paid for sites there's also public domain vector that you can also be using so let's hop across now what you do is you insert a picture yes you can drag and drop your pictures across into powerpoint but that reduces the dpi and the dpi is dots per inch now they reduce automatically in PowerPoint and in Keynote when you drag and drop because it is a presentation package used for the screen and not for printing. And we need it to be for printing, so we need to make sure that we have got enough. So if you are downloading any image sizes, you need to make sure that they're as big as your image file will allow so i've downloaded all the big ones or i've downloaded svgs which is a lot easier to actually expand and and change the size so what i'm going to do is insert and go into pictures pictures from file and i am going to drag the first one which is a png and in fact we'll do 
this one here. Yeah, we'll do that one. Nice sweets. Sweets, candies, ice cream, all that lot there. So what we can do is what you make sure that you're on the actual picture make sure that picture format is selected then where it says color you click on the drop down and you can either choose the gray scale or you can choose the black and white so if you go and choose the black and white you think well that's no good it's too much black and white so what you need to then do is go here where it says format pane make sure that it's selected and then you want to be clicking on the picture and from here you want to go into picture correction and we're going to ramp up the contrast to 100 and then we're going to start ramping up the brightness and we'll try and get as far as we can and we can also add a bit of sharpness which brings some of the line art back and some of the images that disappeared when we ramped it up and that has removed the colors so that has worked out quite well so let's try another one so we're going to go blank slide again insert and this time we will select a JPEG. Now, some JPEGs work really well and others don't. So we'll click this one first. And again, make sure you're on picture format. Change the color. Change it to black and white. Or you can do grayscale. Sometimes grayscale works better than black and white. And if one doesn't work, you try the other one. So let's try this. We're going to ramp up the contrast to 100%. We're going to start ramping this up. Try and get as far as we can. Now we couldn't go too far there. So let's bring this down to about 88%. Let's not knock that down. Let's try and bring it to 78%. And it's brought some of it back. And then we're going to bring some of this sharpness back. Back and ramp that all the way up and we have got some extra nice lines in okay so that is one jpeg so let's insert and then i'm going to show you one that doesn't work very well it's a fantastic picture and would be great to make into a cuddling coloring in doodle so let's choose this one now this is a jpeg as well and it's got a lot of color in so I might try this with grayscale to start with, or maybe even sepia. In fact, I'll try with grayscale. And as you can see, it's still quite dark. So if you ramp up the contrast, there's still too, too much there. And it blurs as well. The sharpness isn't there. So I might undo all that and try and change it to black and white. Let's see if that, in fact, I might try that one. There we go. The contra. Oh, oh, oh. Go the other way. Let's see if we can get. Ah! We're having a lot more luck here. So, what you've got to do is just experiment and see if you can get some of that sharpness back. It's still not very good, but it's a lot better than what it was. So, the last one I want to show you is. I want to insert a new blank one. I want to show you how to do it with an SVG. And then I also want to show you how to get a background that's transparent. So we're going to go in and we're going to get the SVG. So it's a slightly different way of doing it. So here's the SVG. And we make sure we're on the graphics format. We're not going to convert to shape or anything like that. What we are going to make sure is that we've got the format graphic pane up. And again, we're going to go to picture. And then down here, we're going to tick picture color. And from the preset, we're going to choose grayscale. We might choose this one or we might even choose this one. Straight away, that's given us the black and white. And again, we can put the contrast up. Let's try that. I'll try and put the brightness up as well. That's just took it off. And we can't change the sharpness, but that has how you do it with SVG. Now, all of these, if we move them across, have got a white background on. So, if we go on here and on here, you can see. That when we drag them across they've got a white background so again 
for this one. So we want to actually remove that background. And the way you do that is go back to picture format, go back to color, and where it says hit transparent color, you just click hit transparent color. And where the arrow is that's come out, you just click that. And as you can see, the background has gone. So we do that. Same with this one again. Color, set, transparency. And again, it has done most of them, not all of them, but most of them. And let's see this one. This one, let's go again. Pick transparency color. That you could, can you do it with all of it? Get rid of most of it, not all of it. So there is a lot that you can do and a lot that you can't do. The SVG one is you you cannot set the transparent background by doing that. And there is no way of doing it here either. New shadows. But the SVG, what you can do, let's go new slide is you can actually split the whole picture up so you can go picture from file let's bring that svg again and then when you convert it to shape you get all these individual shapes so you can actually be changing the color of the individual shape so that it goes black and white and from there, you can also do the shape fill and have it as no fill. And then you've now got a transparent background. But you would have to go into each one of these individually and remove the colour. Which is a lot harder than just doing what we've done. But there's always workarounds that you can be doing. So it depends what you want. And you can also see what layer you want. And that is how you remove colour from PowerPoint. And it's also how you can actually add transparent background to it and then you can be using it to create a coloring in book or an affirmation doodles book and you can be adding text as well to that so on here we could add a text box we could insert that will do it on this one do this one here we can insert text box just write out write out um make life as sweet as can be and you could do it all capital letters as well so go to home change it you can either do it center case upper case or capitalize each letter and then you can do it as abral flat base which is be a nice covering in we'll do it about 66 and then you go to shape format and where it says text fill you can change that to white and then you can change the outline to black and then you've got this text here that we can be centering it and you could put that at the bottom here so that they can be colouring in and then we can just move that up a bit and there we go we have a doodling colouring book that's got a nice motivational message and obviously you can change your writing. So I hope you found this useful. If you want to be adding masking into PowerPoint, check the video that will be in the end card. So that's how you actually remove colour from PowerPoint. You just go to picture format, change the colorization, up the contrast, up the brightness, change the sharpness, and that's what you can do to remove color and you can individually remove color in svgs and also do it in one quick 
way. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit the like button and the subscribe button to be notified about any other videos. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go and watch the video again or ask questions in the comments. Over on the right hand side, there are some training and review videos. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about any new videos on my channel.